Welcome to this video explaining how the Kafka Kata's environment works. This is a brief showcase of Kata's in action. Within this demo, we'll illustrate how Kata's facilitates data synchronization between a Postgres instance and a MongoDB instance. First, we'll insert a record into MongoDB and observe how Kata's seamlessly synchronizes it with our Postgres instance. As you can see, the record has been successfully added into MongoDB, and this very same entry is now mirrored within the Postgres instance. Next, we'll add a record to the Postgres and then take a look at how it gets synchronized over to MongoDB instance. The identical entry is now synced with the MongoDB instance. This also works for updating and deleting records. Now, let's explore how the newly added data is stored within Kafka. Here you can see the custom message structure used by Kata's behind the scenes. The data change is transmitted within the payload segment of the message. Now let's see what this actually means inside Kafka Kata's environment. Kata's environment consists of three major components, data sources, Kata's client, and Kafka application. Together, this solution enables the synchronization of data between different types of data sources in a seamless manner. Now, let's look into the subcomponents of this high-level diagram. The Kata's client consists of three subcomponents, a sync, a source, and a data processor. The sync and source are two Kafka connectors that help to connect the system with external data sources. Here at the center, you can see the Kafka application has two types of topics, the main topic and the subtopic. When a data change is detected in a data source, the source connector captures it and passes it to the Kafka application. The entry then goes to the subtopic and is recorded within the topic. The data processor of the Kata's client is always listening to the subtopic, capturing entries, processing entries, and passing those to the main topic. Additionally, the data processor is also listening to the main topic, capturing entries, processing entries, and passing those back to the relevant subtopic. Data processor also makes sure the data are compatible between different data sources. On the other hand, the sync connector listens to the subtopic, passing the entries to the data source. Finally, there can be multiple data sources connected to the Kafka application, and all of those connected data sources can be synchronized through Kata's clients with other data sources. In summary, the Kafka Kata's environment is a complex yet highly efficient system that streamlines data synchronization across multiple data sources. Thank you for watching. If you like to try it yourself, refer to the link in the description for our demo application. Want to know more about Kafka-based solutions? Dive deeper. Click the link in the description and connect with our experts today. Stay tuned for more information and updates on Kafka-driven projects by Fidens. Enjoy!